Hey guys, it's Erin. Happily we go here with a creative flow. This is the third one, but the first one in for the month of December. And oh, wait, look at my nails. They're all sparkly. And check out my snap ring. Tiffany just started selling these. It's like the snap stuff. Anyways, we're not going to get into that. Let's jump into the creative flow. You can check out snap stuff over on her site and I'll link that down below. So we got to choose three things. So we're going to use this chick. She's going to be the first one. And let me just flip through here and see what else I can come up with. Let's, let's do a tag. Let's do something quick and easy. Um, okay, let's choose that one. And then one more thing. And I saw this lace in the back and I was like, the lace with the girl, that's gonna be perfect. All right, so here we go. One, two, three. Okay, so I have to admit, after I chose my things, I was like, what am I gonna do first? How am I gonna work this? So when all else fails, just grab the gesso. So I just started to slap some gesso down with a palette knife and then it wasn't giving me as much kind of coverage as I wanted. So I grabbed my brayer and just ran over it a couple times. And then kind of cut into it a little bit, used a Tiffany trick. And so I just decided to scribble into the gesso and I believe I wrote, love who you are. Cause you know, sometimes you just need those little affirmations in there. So after it was dry, I grabbed some leaf green brush -o and threw it on there and then some Prussian blue because I'm obsessed with Prussian blue and anytime I can use it in anything, I am going to. So I sprayed just some plain water on there and look how awesome it is. They just explode with color. I love brush um, It was a little bit too much water so I just grabbed a piece of deli paper, threw it on there and then dried the rest of the tag. So now what to do? So I tried to, I knew I had, I have like what, four girls, five girls to choose from. So I decided I wanted to choose the girl that looked like she was kind of sitting down. So we're just gonna cut that little baby out. So after she was all cut out, then it was just a matter of figuring out how I wanted to layer everything down. And then of course her head wasn't cut all the way out, so you know, I had to do that. So I knew I wanted to use this lace. Where did I want to put it? On the side. Or did I want to put it on the bottom? Well, I ended up going with the side and I sewed it down on my machine. I used red thread, it was only what was in the machine. So then I decided I wanted to maybe color over the top of the girl. So I just took some matte medium and rubbed it over the front with my finger and then dried her, which, <laughs> you know, it probably isn't the best way to do that, but it works. And then I ended up having too much of the matte medium, so I just pushed her down and got some of it off and then finished drying. Now I'll clean up my space a little bit while I'm thinking about what I wanna do next. So I have this bin that sits on the top of my desk and it's just full of stuff. And I have this cute little felt folder that's full of ephemera so when I'm traveling or doing art on the go, I can just take that with me and have some stuff in it. So I'm just going through this basket trying to find things that either inspire me or something that I wanna use on the tag itself and I'm just gonna throw it all off to the side. So I found this awesome little playing card that was cut out and it had a little bit of glitter on it and you know me, anytime there's anything sparkly or glittery that I can use, I'm gonna throw it on. So I'm just trying to figure out how I wanna layer all of that on there. And I decide I do definitely wanna use the book paper. The card is just a little bit too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down with some matte medium on my finger because that's how I roll. And then we're gonna go with some more glitter. I remembered that, that's copper glitter paste from Bow Bunny and that's what was on the card. So maybe I'm not using the card, but I found it as inspiration and reminded me that, hey, I have this product sitting in my drawer, so why don't I whip that out and throw it on the tag too? So we're gonna dry that really good. And while I'm drying, I'm racking my brain. Okay, how do I want it? What do I wanna do next? So I grab my girl. How are we gonna fit her on this card? I decide I don't like how she's cut, so I'm gonna grab my paper trimmer and I'm just gonna make a straight slice. Careful not to cut her arm off. And of course I need a new blade, so you know, it was all raggedy, but that's all right, it's all good. So once I figure out I've got the placement that I like, I'm gonna grab the matte medium and I'm gonna glue it down. Now, the tag is already really 
dimensional with that because it's almost like a thick lace it could be like a garter or something but anyways it's really thick on the side matte medium probably wasn't the best route to go because it just would not stick to it so as you can see I'm gonna futz here a little bit try and keep pushing it down a little bit more and then I think I've got it so I'm gonna go ahead and dry it but see it just will not stick to that lace so I decided I'm just gonna go back and run it through the sewing machine and there we go now there's a little bit more of the red thread on there which I'm loving but I still don't know what to do next so what to do all right I'm gonna grab a uh, pit pen from Faber Castell just one of the big brush markers in dark indigo and I'm just gonna go around the sides because you know me I got to grunge things up a little bit but also I feel like it it uh, frames the piece and gives it more of like a final look so I'm gonna do that and keep on thinking then I'll just color in this part smush it out a little bit once you have that matte medium on there those markers just blend like butter they just are so so awesome so I while I'm thinking I'm like okay I'm going to type up my sentiment and I used the correction tape on the typewriter because I thought the red would be awesome and it would kind of tie in with the red thread on the tag so you know the girl's kind of sitting there and she just has this look and I've just been having these days and so the sentiment mama said there'd be days like this just seemed so fitting for this tag so that's what I went with and I will go ahead and glue it down with the art glitter glue it's one of my favorite glues I'm not thinking I'm just gonna throw it down put my needle back in so it doesn't dry out and I'm gonna grab the matte medium and put it over the top of the sentiment. This is going to A, make sure that it stays on there really good, and B, if I decide to use any other products, it's not gonna sink directly into the paper, it'll stay kind of on the top and be blendable. So after it's dry, I decided to take the stamp that I just recently carved. I'm trying to do Julie Fay Fan Balzer's uh, Carved December, so I'm working my way through that. And I'm gonna do some second generation stamping here. And of course, I probably should have stopped right then and there, but you know, I gotta keep going. And then I stamped over top of the like, Boo, not happy, but hey, we'll roll with it anyways. It's all good. So now that that's done, what to do next? I loved that green, the middle green. Um, so I found one of another one of my pit pens. It's the light phthalo green. And I'm just gonna go around the sentiment a little bit, kind of tie it in so it's not just right there um, and bring that green down towards the bottom. Then what? So I'm gonna take my, the uh, Sharpie paint pen in black and just kind of go around the sentiment. Make it pop a little bit more. And then I'll just do some little dots cause I'm just still feeling like it's not done yet, but I don't know what else to do. And then I'll dry it. So while this dries, I'm gonna take a quick moment to remind you at the end of this video to click Tiffany's link down below and check out her channel to see what three things she chose to create her flow. I'm gonna grab this black uh, pit pen and I'm just gonna go around the outside just to darken up that edge a little bit more. Give it more of a finished look. And I'm gonna play with that twine. It's almost calming. It's kind of like, a, you know, let me just calming my beard, but I'm calming the threads. Anyways, I decided that I needed to put some ribbon through the top. So I'm gonna lace, I found some red ribbon and then this pretty brown twine that had like a copper gold foil through it and I thought that's so pretty and it's sparkly and it's gonna tie in with the glitter that's already on the tag so I'm gonna lace that through and get it all straightened out and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and I'm not gonna futz too much with uh, the lengths of it I'm just gonna snip don't think just snip cut it all but I know I don't want the twine to be all the same length. I want to kind of have an organic look to it, even though I'm making it that way. So I'm just going to snip them all differently. All right, we're going to take a peek at it. There's that one I didn't like. Going to play with the thread a little more. And then I realized there's just something with the girl. She's just there. So I'm gonna take another pit pen. This is like a skin tone one. I will uh, put everything I use down in the description box below because I can't remember the name of this one, but I'm gonna color the girl in just a little bit. I'm gonna do her skin tone, the flowers around her face, 
And then the book that she's holding, I'm just gonna kind of tint that a little bit. I don't wanna do all of her because I like the, the black and white against the, the contrast of the tag, but it just needed a little something something. Then I'm gonna take the raw umber and I'm going to blend that all through the tag too. It, this will bring down the brown from the twine into the card and it's also gonna warm the tag up a little bit. But that's it, y'all. This is the end of the flow. I am so excited. I hope you enjoyed watching this one. Do not forget to subscribe and if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and comment. I love your comments. They mean so much to me. And don't forget to check out Tiffany's channel too. So until the next flow, you guys have an artsy day.